I'm very proud to present this 1967 genuine SS396 Chevelle. Got 396 motor, four speed, a posi, power disc brakes, restored very nicely. Beautiful factory Tahoe turquoise color you don't see very often. Uh, I'm going to give credit to my six-year-old grandson. This is his first purchase. We're at a car show in Florida, and he pointed this one out, and we ended up buying it. So good call, Max. Go to volocars.com. I guess we can read all about the car. Take your time, look at pictures top to bottom. That's where you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, that is no joke. My grandson pointed it out. He was wearing the same color shorts. He said he liked it because it matched his shorts. Uh, but anyway, body was off the frame. You can tell the frame's all painted nice and black, solid, smooth frame, new body bushings when they put it back together. Uh, front end looks like some miscellaneous parts, ball joints, and that have been replaced. Our shop has inspected it, so that's all good. Uh, the back shocks have been replaced. Uh, very possibly the bushings, they, they look pretty good too. Uh, fuel system's been replaced, the tank and the straps, it's all real nice. Brake system's been rebuilt, has disc in front, they replaced the brake lines, the e-brake cables. Uh, great sounding dual exhaust, you'll hear towards the end of the video. I don't know if it's two and a half or three inch pipe, but nice fat pipe with Flowmaster mufflers, and it's all tucked up behind the quarter panels there, and, and it has like uh, downturn tailpipe, so they did a nice job with that. Uh, floors appear to be really solid front to back. You look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. Uh, starter looks fresh, has a correct Muncie four-speed transmission in here. The drive shaft is new, still has a label on it. Has a 12-bolt posi rear end with a nice polished finned aluminum cover. So under the car is uh, very good. The body, body shows really well. I just did my walk around and it, it looks really sharp. So the Super Sport comes with this dual bulged hood. It's all straight and square. Fender's all real nice, no issues with the body. This is all real nice, straight, lines up very well. Bottom of the fender, nice clean metal, it's straight. No bubbles, I already felt all along here, no bubbles at all. Lines up nicely, quarter panel straight, no issues. There is a like a hairline crack right there. It does look like a, a hair laying in there. Um, the roof is all nice and straight. The trunk is all nice and clean. This is all real nice in through here. Straight, lining up nice, no issues. So yeah, body's looking real good. Nice straight panel. This is all real nice. And this side's just as good. I already checked for bubbles or damage. So the body on the car is really nice in my opinion. I think it's code L, but I did check it. And it is a Tahoe turquoise car, upper and lower. So that means it never had a vinyl top. So this is the way it was born. The metal flake is laid out evenly all around. It has a very smooth, glossy finish. Uh, with that said, I always got to cover myself. I'm sure you can find some flaws. Here's a tiny crack. It looks like a small fingernail laying there, a real small one. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see anything in the way of chips or scratches. You know, but minor, minor imperfections. If you look for it, there'll be a little divot or, you know, like a little dust was in the paint or, you know, minor imperfections. 
but nothing, nothing significant. Up here in the middle of the roof, the paint's got a little texture right in this area, a little, it's not like glass. And it looks like they replaced just about all of the trim. The bumper, the grill, all that looks nice and new. These look brand new. The cross flag emblems, those are cool emblems. Even the stainless trim is all shiny and polished. Even the wiper arms, even the chrome vent window frame's been replaced. Door handle, rain gutters, I think the wheel well moldings, they look awfully nice. The rear molding, all this has been replaced. It's a tiny, tiny nick right on top. Super Sport emblem, tail lights, bumper. Now it has the blacked out panel that's part of the SS396 package. The rear glass is original, typical, light scratches in it. The windshield is replaced. The door jams are painted nice. The weather strips and window seals are replaced. Now the wheels, got some nice looking 15 inch polished torque thrust wheels. They're probably 15 by eight. They have good rich tires. They're meatier in the back. Uh, you know, a little taller, a little fatter. Gives the car a little bit of a stance. I think the car is a great look. Now let's see what it looks like inside. There you go. See what the trunk looks like. Under the trunk lids painted real nice. Looks like they replaced the stickers, although they do get wrinkled. Uh, the jam is painted nice. Weather strip is replaced. Trunk compartment, all nice, clean, solid metal with a gray uh, spatter finish. If I just mentioned the weather strip and actually the seat divider have been replaced. You know, I look at a lot of cars and so many of them do not make the cut. This is not a perfect car, but it, it made the cut. It's straight. It's just a nice car. When I sat in it, it's like new. Uh, door jams are painted slick. The weather strips are replaced. The entire door panel, armrests, window cranks, handles, that's all new. The black metal was painted nicely. So the dash pad, this upper panel, the knobs, that's all replaced. This is original in here, but looks good. Uh, then the rest of the chrome across here is replaced. Uh, it has a nice new glove box liner, owner's manual. All the metals painted nice, heater control panels clean, uh, an extra set of gauges. You watch the motor uh, as vitals. Retro stereo fits right in the hole. Uh, we have a cushion grip steering wheel. And then down on the floor, new carpet, and they fit real nice too. They're not wrinkled uh, with some Lloyd uh, embroidered mats. The console looks new, has a working clock, her shifter. The seats, I can tell right away when I sat in the car, they're all rebuilt, nice springs, nice cushion, nice and firm. They're all reupholstered. And even the back of the seat, all the plastic trim, little rubber bumpers. The seats are really completely done. Uh, back seats all upholstered, side panels, armrests, uh, all that's redone. Rear shelf, the trim around the back window. Headliner, tight as a drum. Dome light works, new visors. The mirror is original, it's a little bit clouded. It has new seat belts, the retractable seat belts in the front. The interior is a really strong 9 out of 10. I think it's an excellent shape. Now, I started off by saying it's a real super sport. In 1967, that's right in the VIN number. 138 designates Super Sport. And then also on the uh, trim tag, it has, I think it's the letter L, which designates four speed. So this was born a four speed big block car. So it has a correct motor in it, uh, 396, three and a quarter horse. I'm sure it's putting out more horsepower now. A little hotter cam, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock carb. Looks like a new uh, billet HEI ignition system in the back. Dressed up with the new chrome valve covers and air cleaner. Nice uh, dipstick. It has a set of headers. Fuel pump looks pretty new. It runs cool with an aluminum radiator and aluminum water pump. Got the fan and the shroud and 
They sprayed a little too much shiny stuff on this one. Alternator looks new. The power brake system looks new. All the wiring harness in the engine bay looks new. And then look how nice and clean and tidy the metal surfaces are painted up so nice and smooth. Under the hood is painted, has the hood insulation. So definitely uh, worthy enough to uh, pop your hood open at a car show. Yeah, really nice car. I like this. Good looking car, four speed, sounds good. I don't know what more you could ask for. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They'll help get it delivered to your door, help you finance it. Each car goes through our shop for an inspection. I think we spent six or seven hundred bucks on this one. We uh, calibrated the speedometer to be accurate. I think they lubed a window track to roll up a little smoother. Uh, the inside vent window handle is missing. Uh, we have one coming. Uh, so turnkey, ready to go. So go to volocars.com to get help. Go uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to be notified when the new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.